Uh, good evening and welcome to my laboratory. This is a little jewel thief, uh, basic jewel thief that I just constructed uh, in order to help a friend get started. Uh, the coil is a toroid that I had in my junk box. I already, this is actually a configuration that I used to test some other uh, oscillator arrangements, but it works pretty well for this purpose. There's 10 turns here and uh, that's actually got a center tap, but I'm not using the center tap. I'm just using the two ends of that 10 turn coil of, I don't know what it is, number 22 insulated solid wire. And then here I've got a bunch of 30 turns or so of enameled copper magnet wire. And the two ends of that coil come out here into this little connector. Okay, so that's the transformer part. And um, I followed the exact verbal directions that I gave uh, in the forum post here. I take the coil with the lesser number of windings and hook that to one end of the coil with the greater number of windings. And that point, both of those points go to the positive end of the battery. The other end of the coil with the lesser number of windings goes to a 220 ohm resistor and then to the base terminal of a 2N uh, 2222A transistor, the middle leg there. Okay. Okay. And from the emitter to collector of the transistor, I've put an LED, a yellow LED there, uh, with the cathode on the emitter and the anode on the collector of the transistor. Okay, So the negative of the LED goes to the emitter of the transistor, the positive of the LED goes to the collector of the transistor. And then also a wire from that junction, collector anode, goes over to the other end of the smaller wind of the coil with the greater number of windings and then the negative pole of the battery through this yellow wire is then connected to the emitter cathode junction of where the LED is and look it doesn't work well if it doesn't work and you have it wired like this then just take one of the coils and reverse the connections to it. All right, so I'm going to do that here. If I can do it with one hand. All right. Okay, so now I've just reversed the connections to one of the coils, and there you go. A nice, brilliant jewel thief. I guess you can hear it. I can hear it. And that battery has 1.1 volts in it. It's a mostly dead AA battery. So there's no way that battery could light this jewel thief on its own. Light this LED, I mean, on its own. Okay? So that's really all there is to it. That's a jewel thief 2222A transistor. I tried actually putting two batteries in series in here and it was too much. The thing wouldn't work. Probably need to put a, a greater base resistor in there if you use more voltage here. Okay. But the whole point of a Joule Thief is to get some light out with small voltage. So um, the 200 ohm or 220 ohm resistor there. Where is it? There it is. That's perfect for the depleted battery to light this jewel thief. Okay, don't forget to just reverse one of the coils if it doesn't work as laid out here. Alright, thank you for watching and good luck.